This is Rodney Ham, the candidate for governor in the state of Ohio. Um, one thing that I would like to express to you today, uh, Mr. Dieters, uh, Mr. Cunningham, and Mr. Sloan, is the importance of what we talk about on the radio while our children are listening. Uh, we can no longer have these programs on TV that are discriminatory uh, towards women in the demeaning way in which they depict them uh, as second class. We did make some improvements in the 90s with shows like Dora the Explorer uh, who focused on us learning Spanish at an early age by wanting to know what Dora was doing. Things like that can be conducive to a society uh, that blends well together like the societies do in Europe from what I was told by Bill Townsend and his interactions in France. Uh, we need to try to be a more accepting people uh, as far as trying to integrate other ingredients into our own special mix uh, to make us more complete human beings, more God-loving human beings more understanding parents, more understanding people. And there's no better way to do that than leadership. And I think under the Rupert Murdoch and uh, Ted Turner uh, dominance of our media, uh, we have become somewhat segregated into simplicity to allow them to make us feel like we should elect someone who is merely a lending loan predator like Donald Trump is to lead our nation and make us look like buffoons before the entire world, having his brigade of the uneducated uh, burglarize 16 or 600 Pennsylvania Avenue and take their boots off and stick them on the desk and act like they were going to run our country. Uh, the first uh, full display of Chinese uh, financing would have them babbling out the door in debt books, I promise you. We do need someone who is strong in a financial state, strong enough to address things like this money uh, being spent over the airways by this conservative agenda. That seems to have slipped into our government programs and into our Department of Justices, as well as our courts and townships alike. I was outraged myself when I started hearing all the extreme measures taken uh, when it came to things that had been settled in the past under more diplomatic minds. Uh, if a child is raped at 12 by her father or her uncle in a drunken fit and beaten and scared to death, she should not have to have that child remind her of it for the rest of her life when it's merely a couple of weeks after conception. That should be her choice. Uh, it should not be a choice made by judges in Washington uh, when she's been raped uh, down in uh, you know, the south, deep south somewhere, or out west somewhere, and you're 3,000 miles away making decisions for this child. That should be up to the child and the parent. We cannot allow the government, uh, nonetheless Donald Trump, to step into our house and start raising our children. Uh, these are outrageous requests by the government. And I think that it's time that we start to reflect on my lineage and General Jackson and his viewpoints on why that the Northerners shouldn't reach so far down to try to pull our profit from our way of life, uh, which is an independent, liberated one, where we make our own decisions and we follow what has already been said, which is truth, justice, and the American way. One nation under God with liberty and freedom for all. Thank you.